love. Hi, I'm Coach Lou. So today we're going to be practicing some drills, our upper body drills to make our body strong. Uh, it will help your blocks and strikes and kicks also to strengthen your body to become better for your boom set. Okay, so for the first one, we will be doing our pulling exercise. So you're going to need a partner for this one. Okay, so we're going to start with our horse stance. So you will be facing each other. So Coach Lu here will be doing the exercise and I'm going to be the helper. So Coach Lu, she has to do the horse stance. Yes. And then pulling exercise. Let's start with our one hand first. So single hand. Uh, let's start with our right hand. So remember, just extend your right hand. So we're going to do this one for 10 times. So pull your hand as fast as you can. So just think of something that someone will try to get you from your mother. And then I'm going to take you. Come here. You have to follow me. Something like that. So you don't want that to happen, right? So what you will, what you will do is you have really have to pull your hand to get away from the bad person. Right? So from here, so the first exercise is just do your pulling exercise for 10 times. Ready? Go one and two and three, and four, as fast as you can, and five, and assuming we're done with the ten. Now you can actually do it also on the other hand. Ready? Faster. Go one. Remember, as we pull our hand, we have to twist our hand and make sure it's facing upward. Ready? And two, and three, and four, and five. Do this exercise for ten times. Now, with a helper, ready? Go back to our right hand. So, Helper, you need to tuck their hand as fast as you can. So from here, it's up to you whether you fast, uh, tap it right away or just give some, some trick, okay? So if I can fake and then one, that's it. But make sure, make sure you pull your hand as, uh, as fast as you can, okay? Because once you get tucked like this, of course you, sorry, of course. <laughs> You will feel the pain, right? You don't want that to happen. So what are we going to do if you get tough? You need to do your push-up. Because push-up is part of our training to make our body strong. Go! Stronger! Ready? Let's try Let's try to do it again. Go. Ah! So she has to do the push-up. Coach Lou, can you do one push-up, please? Yeah. If you want to do more push-up, then that's better. Now, let's move on to the next one, which is your pulling hand, I mean, double pulling hand. So you're going to use your two hands here. Okay, so extend your both hands and then bend your knees. Don't forget to do your horse stance, okay? This horse stance, while doing this exercise, it will help you also to strengthen your leg. Okay, so ready? Helper, you can just extend your hand like this and then just tap as fast as you can. And once you get tough, once you get tough, oh my god, I'm too slow for this. Oh, I got her. I'm sorry, coach. Then she has to do the push up. So, next one is um, the next exercise is you're going to hold the wrist, okay? So, horse and position again. So, helper, you're gonna hold the wrist of your um, child or your um, partner. So bend your knees, so hold your knees, and then try to grab, but don't put too force too much, okay? So pull your hands as you can, that's it. And then try to do this exercise for 10 times. One, and two, and three. And remember, as we pull our hand, try not to lean forward also. Try to control your body, okay? Um, try to put your uh, weight to the center, okay? We don't. We don't want to do this kind of exercise, right? So ready? Let's continue. And four and five. Nice. Okay, let's move on to our punching exercise this time. So when we do this exercise, I want you to do your horse stance. Okay, remember horse, horse stance, bend your both knees, toes pointing forward. So let's start with our single punches. So ready? Extend your left arm. And pull your hand as fast as you can. 
and tap. Ready? And one. And always remember, remember, uh, try to put your elbows in. Okay? That's it. And two. And three. And four. And five. And so on. Okay? Now for the, for the next exercises, you're going to show me your double punch. Ready? And one. That's it. And try to make sure when you punch this or when you do this exercise, you're maintaining the level. So it's solar plexus level. It's not, it shouldn't be too high and too low. Okay? Ready? And go. And go. And you have to maintain the speed. Okay? And go. And as you pull your hand, make sure to always pull or to bring it back to your hip. So one and then two. Okay? Now, uh, let's do the slow motion punch. So from that position, um, please change your hand, Coach Lou. So we're going to start with our right hand. So slow motion, let's try to do it with five counts. So as you pull your hand to your hip in a slow motion way, you're going to do your, you're going to extend or you're going to punch your other hand. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and five. At the count of five, you have to twist your pulling hand and twist the striking hand. One more time. Go one, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, five. One more time. One, two, three, four, and five, and so on. Now, always remember, twisting hand is important in your pump set. Because remember, when we twist, when we pull our hand, when we block, there's a twisting. Okay? Because it adds power when we do it, when we do the striking or the blocking. Now, next one, let's try to do the fast motion for the punching exercise. You can do 10 first, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 10, and you can do to 50. Now, let's try, let's try to do 10 this time. Ready? And go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's it. Just always remember when you do the fast one, try to maintain uh, the power, okay? And try to maintain the pulling, okay? And that's it. Good job.